G'day guys, welcome to Rumble's Fish Room. So, the camera just did something weird. I can hear toys. Um, young fella's just going to bed. He's not asleep yet, so probably talking to a camera is probably going to keep him awake. Uh, but anyway, I've, I've got a... I told you guys there's some real big changes happening around the house, um, especially the fish room. Um, I'm thinking about going way more exclusive to one breed of fish. I'm, Drop a comment if you think you can guess what fish that is, like I'm sure 90% of you know. Um, obviously I haven't been posting a lot, so my algorithm is pretty low, so which means all of you guys watching will most likely be the long time subscribers, um, which I'm not fussed about. I never made the channel to go big. I did it for my own uh, excitement or whatever you want to call it. But anyway, um, I really want to get back into it. I'm so keen. Um, so let's have a talk about a tank. All right, so the light literally turned off as I said that. Um, but if you don't know, if you go into this smart folder, I can't remember which one it is. I think it's this one. Um, if you haven't got these, get them. They're only like 15 bucks. I actually got these from Audi. I'm pretty sure I paid like $8 each for them. And then I bought like a $20 one and the $20 one broke and the cheap ones are still working. So that turns the lights on. Um, so this tank here, uh, I've got, I took Richard out. Richard hated it. I don't know if it's because of the low pH from the substrate or, or what. Um, I don't know what happens with this tank. Uh, it might have been the lack of oxygen in the tank. I did turn the um, spray bar up to make some bubbles just because, um, yeah, he, he wasn't sick because he would come up to me, but only me, but he would hide. You can literally still see the divot in the soil from where he was hiding. If I turn this light off, you might even see it better. Um, so at the moment, I've taken the heaters off and I've got a red scat in there. The only reason the red scat's in there is because he was in a tank that was way too small for him. And I figured I've turned one of the canister filters off. So there's only one running, but it's running through it. So um, it'll still be flowing through the canister. So I've got a lower flow rate. There's only him and a bristle nose in there. Um, so. I was kind of thinking there might be something wrong with this tank, like um, the goldfish all passed away. Well, no, they didn't. Most of them passed away. There's still like eight goldfish in one of the IBCs in the shed. Um, but anyway, so fish have never done great in this tank, um, and which is bizarre, man. Look at this thing. It's got an automatic drip system. Constant drip. And that's on like less than half. That's on about half of what it was with the flower horn. Um, the only thing this tank lacks is oxygen. Um, and to me, I think that's why the flower horn wasn't happy in here. But anyway, um, I'm going to keep the red scat in here, uh, and I'll see how he goes. I need to get lids sorted. I'm going to put some lids on it. Um, and I was going to put a, I was thinking about, um, getting a baby Saratoga, um, and putting it in here until it got to 20 centimeters. And then once it got to 20 centimeters, putting it with the stingrays. But I since learned that it's actually illegal to import Saratogas into Australia, into Western Australia now. Um, apparently it's been like that for two years, but I must've been living under a rock. Um, but anyway, so I don't know if there's, if you can think of like preferably an Australian native that will live in, like this guy will live as low as 20 degrees. So I'm looking for a fish that will, that have that same temperature parameters. Um, I'm not really that familiar with uh, Australian natives myself, but I have a guy who's like 10 minutes from my house who um, has a shop that they pretty much specialize in Australian natives. So let me know what you think. So we either throw a couple more Australian natives in here um, and throw some valves or something in there. Or the other option, which I don't think any of you guys are going to like, is get rid of this tank. Um, 
I think in a video the other day I did say I was going to get rid of it. I'm not sure if it was a member's video. But uh, my mother-in-law wants the tank. Um, so if I do choose that route, um, it'll still be in the family. Uh, but I don't know. It's it's such a nice size tank. I love 4x2x2.5. By two by two it's probably my favourite size for a display. Like It's big enough to do most of your fish except for tank busters and it's small enough not to intrude your house. Um, if you didn't know, I used to have a um, 1500 litre tank on this wall and it was just ridiculous. You couldn't sit at, like the table was, it was too big for the house. Obviously if I had a bigger house, um, it would be all right. So this house, if you don't know, it's a four by two, but it's got small living areas good sized bedrooms. It's like the opposite to houses today. Today's houses have small bedrooms, bigger living areas. Um, but anyway, so the substrate change went well. The only thing I will say is it's not the true bikini bottom anymore. Like the light substrate is what um, gets the bikini bottom going. Um, the little things in there, um, I culled like eight of them today once it cleared up and I could see the color. The The color has definitely improved just in the 24 hours, but it's still not enough to the quality that I was hoping. Um, so that tank there, I'm kind of thinking, Cooper's asleep and I'm talking at the top of my lungs. Um, let's get some light on this situation. That tank there, I'm thinking about putting a couple of mystery snails in it, just like the purple ones, but I don't want to breed them, so I don't know how hard mystery snails are to sex. I've never actually owned them before, but it would be cool to get like two males or something. I don't know, let me know what you think. Would it be too much bio load to throw two mystery snails in there? Um, but yeah, obviously if they start laying eggs, that'd be a drama. I think it would just destroy the water quality. Um, that little canister's going pretty killer. So have you guys seen this? If you haven't, it's a water bottle. I can't remember <laughs> what meteor I put in it. But um, the flow rate is super slow. Like, if I hold the camera still, see, so you can only just see the water moving. I reckon it's probably like, I think it's a 500 litre per hour pump. And obviously the restrictions of being on a filter, it's probably only doing like 100 litres per hour. Like, it's not even rippling the water. You can like literally just see the dust on the top just moving. You have to really concentrate to notice that it's even working. Actually, that's a good point. I was actually going to, um, clean the sponge on here. The biggest problem with this tank is I fill it up that much that I can't actually, oh, the sponge. I don't think that'll be restricting at all. It's not very dirty. I don't know how I'm gonna get the sponge back on, but um, obviously you shouldn't really clean sponges in tap water, but the, it's, this isn't the biological filter, this is just to stop certain creatures going in the filter. Oh no, it's spilling. Yeah, so I keep this tank that full that you can't actually do any maintenance on the tank. Anyway guys, so <laughs> I remember years ago, I've said it a few times on the channel, but somebody asked me, if you're a breeder or a display fish keeper. And I said both. And he said, oh, you're not both. You'll end up being one or the other. This is probably like 10 years ago, eight years ago, something like that. But anyway, it's kind of happened. Like um, that tank there, it's a display tank, but I'm planning on breeding in it. And then that tank there, that's my only proper display and I'm thinking about getting rid of it. So, yeah, the guy was right. Um, 
It's pretty funny, really. Uh, but yeah, let me know. Should I throw a couple of natives in there and no heaters? Um, and I'll probably get rid of this light and throw just a um, LED tube on it. That light draws like two to 300 watts. It's um, way too ridiculous when there's no plants in there. But anyway, guys, let's stay in the light. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to subscribe for more, hit that little red button. If you're pumped for the videos, drop a comment, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace out.